Hi friends, we have already studied the currents of Atlantic, the currents of Pacific Ocean. It was more or less same, only thing was the names were different. Now look at the Indian Ocean. From the diagram itself, we can say that the Indian Ocean is half a ocean. What I mean by half a ocean? That means the northern part of the Indian Ocean, because it is, it is enclosed from all the sides, it is surrounded by land mass. And because it is surrounded by land mass, the monsoon winds and the land mass have a major effect on the currents which are generated in the Indian Ocean system. So remember, because the northern part of Indian Ocean, because the northern Indian Ocean is surrounded by land, is surrounded by land, current system is not well developed. is not well developed. So it is not very well developed because it is surrounded by Africa, it is surrounded by Middle East, it is surrounded by Indian subcontinent, it is surrounded by Southeast Asia here. So Java, Sumatra in this region, therefore the current system is not well developed. Now you remember the color codes which I am using, red stands for warm ocean current, blue stands for cold ocean current because it is not well developed in the northern hemisphere. Let us study the currents of the southern Indian Ocean. In the southern Indian Ocean there is is an south equatorial current which is a properly well developed current system. The south equatorial current is generated due to the rotation of the earth and due to the winds which are developed. Also obviously there is an equatorial counter current. These are warm currents which I have shown already shown with the arrows. So south equatorial current and the equatorial counter current. Now the south equatorial current water comes and it is bifurcated in the terms one goes to the eastern side of an island this is a Madagascar island and one goes one goes through inside of this region between the island of Madagascar and the Africa region after that both this ocean currents join and together they flow downwards together they flow downwards So, what is this ocean? What are the name of this ocean currents? Obviously, we know that this is South Equatorial Current. The South Equatorial Current is bifurcated into two types. One is the East Madagascar Current. This is an East Madagascar Current. while the other current which flows between the Africa, mainland Africa and the Madagascar, then between this gap, what is this gap known as? This gap is known as Mozambique Channel. Mozambique is the country here, so it is known as a Mozambique Channel and therefore the name of this current here is the Mozambique Current. Therefore the name of this current here is the Mozambique Current. It is a Mozambique current. So, what are the major ocean currents of the southern Indian Ocean? Warm currents, this is South Equatorial current, Madagascar, East Madagascar current and the Mozambique current. Both this Mozambique and the southern Equatorial current join to form a larger current which is known as Agulhas current. Which is known as an Agulhas current. So, Agulhas current is in the southern tip of eastern Africa. Uh, it is known as an Agulhas current. So, these are the important warm ocean currents of the Indian Ocean. What is the cold current? Obviously, the cold current will come only in the form of west wind drift which flows. And this west wind drift under the Coriolis force will, move, will be deflected to the left hand side and it will come why it is getting deflected to the west end, uh, left hand side because of the Coriolis force and it will come as a West Australian current.
it is known as an west australian current no doubt the west australian current is a cold current while in the previous lecture in the pacific ocean we studied east australian current the east australian current is a warm current while remember the west australian current is a cold current any cold current supports deserts or there are hot deserts so we have great australian desert in this region so this is a region of a great australian desert here and while this is the major city which is located here the city is known as an perth the city is the perth so these are the important currents of the indian ocean now look at the currents of the northern indian ocean remember the current system of indian ocean is largely controlled by land mass and by the winds nowhere in the current system the effect is so dominant as of the effect of the winds is so dominant as in the northern indian ocean so so you can remember the current of the indian oceans are largely controlled by winds and the land mass so i can rub here the currents of the currents of of north indian ocean i am writing here nio that means north indian ocean is largely controlled by by land mass and monsoon winds and monsoon winds so how is the effect seen let us see at how the effect is seen from in the in the in the summer season the winds blow as a southwest monsoon so we have a southwest monsoon current which comes towards india which comes towards india and flows as a southwest monsoon current during which season during the season of southwest monsoon that is during the season of our summers so we have a current which i am showing here which is known as an southwest monsoon current southwest monsoon current while so southwest monsoon current it develops during the summer season obviously what will be the current current will be a warm current because it develops during the summer season along with the southwest monsoon again what are monsoon winds the kind of winds in which there is complete change in the or complete u turn or at least 180 degree change in the direction of the in their direction such winds are known as monsoon winds so we have one wind which comes from the southwest while the other wind which comes from the northeast so there is a complete reversal in their direction and therefore our climate is known as a monsoon type of a climate the other current which develops during the winter season but again remember it is a warm current because it de it is developing in the warm regions of the world i will mark it with the black pen but remember it is a warm current is the is the northeast monsoon current is the northeast monsoon current so this is the current this are the current system now when does the northeast monsoon current southwest monsoon current develops during the summer season in india when the southwest monsoon is more prominent while the northeast monsoon current which is i have shown in the black color north east monsoon current the north east monsoon current develops during the season of north east monsoon that is during the winter season in india so this is the this are the current systems of indian indian ocean no doubt the northeast monsoon is also you keep in mind a warm current 
so what are the different current systems of india we have during the summer season we have southwest monsoon while during the winter season we have northeast monsoon that means the statement if i say this statement is there a seasonal change in the direction of the winds and the seasonal change in the direction of the ocean currents in indian ocean in the north indian ocean is it true or false yes there is a seasonal change in the direction of an ocean current depending upon the change in the winds in the northern indian ocean region so this the how is the seasonal change this is not change in the is in the form of a southwest monsoon current and the northeast monsoon current while in the southern hemisphere there is a south equatorial current this south equatorial current then continues continues as a mozambic current which flows through a mozambic channel it continues as what it continues as a mozambic current it flows through a mozambic channel while one current which flows to the eastern side of madagascar is a east madagascar current both this join together to form an agulhas current which is in the southern tip of eastern africa while the west australian current is a cold current which goes to the west australian region this west australian current is associated with the great australian desert so right if what the, if the question comes right about the current system of indian ocean or the assignment is i can use this board to rub write about the assignment describe the current system of indian ocean See in any question, describe the current system of Indian Ocean. First, write that what is an ocean current. So, a definite direction of a movement of ocean water is an ocean current. Then, change your line. Change your next change. Next point: the Indian Ocean current system is not very well developed because of the dominance of land mass, especially in the northern Indian Ocean. Then, third point: the the dominance the indian ocean current system is largely controlled by the land mass and the monsoon winds why because it is surrounded by the land fourth the current system of northern indian ocean is southwest monsoon current which flows along the southwest monsoon which flows along with the southwest monsoon winds in the during the indian summer season this is a warm current fifth the when the monsoon when the change, there is a change in the direction of monsoon winds the currents also change their direction in the form of northeast monsoon current which develops during northeast monsoon season that is the winter season in the indian subcontinent it is also a warm current thus the current system of northern indian ocean is largely controlled by the direction of monsoon winds next point the current system of southern indian ocean in the southern indian ocean there is a south equatorial current the south equatorial current is further goes further develops it goes southwards one flows to the east of madagascar known as a madagascar current while the other flows through the mozambic channel underlying the mozambic channel as an mozambic current both this current join together to form an agulhas current on other hand west wind drift is deflected northwards or deflected leftwards to come and hit the coast east western coast of australia as a west australian current now this west australian current is associated with the with what with the great australian desert this is the overall general idea of an current system in the indian ocean so this is your assignment try to write down so that you th these are the facts once you write down the assignment i don't think you will forget the facts ever even for the preliminary examination so these are the current systems of the three oceans atlantic indian and the pacific ocean now in the next lecture we will study what is the importance of the ocean currents i hope that you are enjoying the lecture series we'll meet again in the next lecture till the time thank you very much